developments in a story we've been covering for years. People in Alexandria dealing with standstill traffic outside their homes. After years of complaints, the city put a pilot program in place to try to fix the problem. Marcella Robertson joins us now with the latest. Marcella. Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, the, I mean, the issue we're talking about is mainly during rush hour. You have these GPS apps that are rerouting drivers off of main streets like Duke onto the side streets to cut down on their commute. Unfortunately, that comes at the expense of the people who live there, which we have been reporting on for several years now. Well, it seems that after the city put in a, a pilot program that has been in place for several months, they seem to have found a solution. Take a look. 40% of um, the traffic in our neighborhood was from, just from cut through traffic. For years, Jill Hoffman and others who live near Duke Street in Alexandria have been frustrated. Drivers trying to find the quickest route to the highway are cutting through their streets, jamming up traffic. It's caused a severe quality of life issue for those of us who are residents of this community. Earlier this year, the city finally came up with a solution, a pilot program changing the timing on traffic lights. Engineers timed out the signals on main roads to stay green longer, making those side streets less appealing. Now the results of that pilot are in. On some of the side streets, we saw as much as an 89% decrease in cut through traffic on the one street where we actually also had a, a turn ban in place. But on other streets where we didn't do anything else, we saw 59% on Cambridge, we saw 73% on Fort Williams Parkway. Even though more traffic was driven over to those main roads like Quaker and Duke Streets, city officials say driving the main roads is still much faster than before the pilot. The one street that didn't benefit though, West Taylor Run, where 72% of traffic comes from drivers cutting through. There are plans in the works to try to better address the issue there. We're looking to make Duke Street a better place for people. Right now, it's, people think of traffic and congestion. But for those who have been pushing for change for years. It's about safety. It's about quality of life. Um, and everyone's just very excited that we're finally starting to see relief after such a long period of time. Yeah, finally some relief for the people who live there. But as we mentioned, West Taylor Run, that is right off of Duke Street here. Unfortunately, they did not see a lot of relief, just about 12% decrease during that first phase of the pilot. So they will now enter phase two of this pilot and a cruise there out here just picked up. We're working on the signal timing overnight. They also will put barriers up and that will essentially restrict access from West Taylor Run to Duke Street and to Telegraph Road. And that will go into place early next week. So the hope is that the residents who live on that street will also start to see some relief. That's the latest here in Alexandria. I'll send it back to you guys.